After taking a quick break last week, we are back. It's this week in sports. We've already made it to episode seven. So tag along. We got a fun one on tap today. Episode seven. We have seven. This week in sports. It starts. Oh, we're locked and loaded, gearing up for episode 7. I'm looking forward to this one. I kind of put together a different format. Um, obviously, you see, first game of the Cubs spring training 2023 campaign. Looking forward to that. We have some MLB news. We have even a little bit of college basketball stuff to get to. And we got some NHL stuff to get to as well. I'm going to kind of bounce around. I don't, I don't, there weren't any major stories really these last few weeks. Um... So I just had to nitpick a bit to de for this week's episode. Um, so we're just going to kind of fly through a bit here. I want to make this video nice and quick. So uh, let's first start with some of the NHL main stories we have. Because as we approach the trade deadline, there's going to be plenty of them. And uh, one of the first ones we saw was Shea Weber, who's uh, been in Vegas for a few years now. Got traded to the Arizona Coyotes. So he sticks with the West Coast. Um, and he looks to give some help to a struggling Coyotes team that sits at 7th seventh, seventh in the Central Division. Um, obviously, another year where it's looking like won't be playoffs um, unless they have some miracle down the stretch. So Shea Weber looks to add some help there. Um, and Nikita Zayetsov will try to add some help to another struggling team in the Chicago Blackhawks as uh, he comes over from the Senators. Um, the set, the, the Blackhawks also do receive a ton of draft picks. I believe the Senators got two in return as, or future considerations the Senators get. Um, well, the Blackhawks are going to get quite a few draft picks, including this one from the upcoming draft in 2023, and also a few in the future all the way up to 2026. Um, Blackhawks in a rebuild. However, they have one four straight against some of the top teams in the league, um, and they're the third worst team in the NHL right now. So it's a weird boat, especially me as a Blackhawks fan. Do you want to have it be... I mean, do you want to tank for the number one pick? Or do you just want to make your players happy and try to keep this winning streak going? It's interesting. But they made a deal getting Zayets off. Um, and we'll see where Kane and... Uh, Kane and McCabe and Domi all end up if they go anywhere before the trade deadline is up. Dmitry Orlov went to Boston. Um, a few other guys went to the Bruins as well. The Bruins, obviously, the best team in the National Hockey League, looking to tie the all-time win record, um, surpass the all-time point record. It's been an unbelievable season out there in Boston, and Dmitry Orlov came over from the Washington Capitals to look to help him out even more, um, as Orlov's been a nice staple there in Washington over these past few seasons. You guys, that uh, some teams will be missing down the stretch here. Um, one that's really going to hurt the Predators who were fighting for their life to try to pull off a miracle to push up to that playoff spot. They're going to be without Ryan Johansson um, as he is out for this season for Nashville. Another guy out for the season is going to be Jake Muzzin for Toronto. And I believe I saw this thing the other day that said he had only played four games this season. So, uh... He's kind of been battling through injuries, and they just said, we don't want to risk anything, and there's most likely no chance. So they just ruled him out. Um, so uh, Toronto will be without Jake Muzzin. Let's, I mean, that, that was just a huge rundown of everything that happened in the NHL this week. So let's now slide over to college basketball, where we just have one quick story, and that's Houston returning to number one. It's been a whole fun, fun house in college basketball scene. Who's going to be number one? We've seen Purdue up there. We've seen North Carolina up there way back at the beginning of the season. Um, Alabama, they got knocked off by Tennessee. And now Houston is back for the first time in a few weeks. Um, and they look to continue the success that they've had over this season, which a lot of number ones have not been able to maintain. To round out the day, let's move to some MLE stories. The MLB is back. Yes, it is. We kicked off spring training yesterday. That was Friday. That's February 24th. 
Um, and coming in, we had a few interesting stories. We saw a few interesting things happen yesterday. One of those interesting things was Manny Machado. His first pitch clock violation. Well, not his first. The league's first. I'm um, obviously bringing pitch pitch clock um, violations in. I, I, there's there's a rule where like if you step out of the box or something, or if you're out of the box for too long, you got to keep like one foot in the box or something. There's a whole whole crazy thing amount of these new rule changes that I can't quite follow. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I think that's what's up. So, I mean, only took only took one game, and in that game. Here's what the MLB is really happy about, because this is really what they were wanting to do. Every game yesterday, there were three games, lasted two hours, 35 minutes, or less. The Red Sox game against Northeastern, yes, Northeastern University, lasted two hours, eight minutes, when uh, one of the games that lasted 2.33. Not bad whatsoever, when last year we were averaging game times around three hours, so... Uh, we're heading in the right direction. And here's another guy that's heading in the right direction. Jacob DeGrom, Bryce Harper, Fernando Tatis, all those stars. Um, they battled through injuries. Tatis has had suspensions, injuries. All They're all working back. T they said Tatis is going to get a lot of outfield work to try to ease his way back in. Um, DeGrom starting to throw those full bullpens. And then Harper um, going to be back in a little bit as well. One guy that will not be back for... A decent amount of future will be Lance McCullers Jr. for the Houston Astros. He's going to miss opening day um, with an injury. So, uh, but I mean, not too long after that. So the Astros should be able to survive those first few weeks of the season without him. Oh, man. MLB is back. The NHL trade deadline approaching. College basketball going down the stretch. What a time to be alive. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this week in sports episode seven. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we're going we're gonna to see you next week in week eight. Thanks for watching. We're going to see you next time. Bye, everybody.